The truth is, most people who are looking to become self-taught developers are not going to succeed. And as someone who transitioned into tech themselves, earned six figures a year in this industry and has coached dozens of beginners and career changers like yourself to transition into tech, I've come to realize that this is the simple truth. And in this video, I want to explain the three main reasons why most self-taught developers fail and never land a job and how to prevent this for yourself. So what are the big mistakes holding you back from learning how to code? What are the mistakes that you're making that are stopping you from getting hired? And what are the pitfalls that are preventing you from landing your dream tech job? Let's dive straight in. Now, the first reason why most self-taught developers fail from the very beginning of their journey is they choose to start by learning a programming language instead of a field of software. So by now, you've probably already seen a ton of videos online telling you the best programming languages to learn or the top highest paying programming languages to learn. But blindly choosing to learn a programming language just based off of what's most popular is really going to slow down your progress. And the reason for that is you need to understand that there is a ton of different fields and career paths in this whole tech space that all require different technologies and programming languages. For example, if you wanted to be a mobile app developer, you'd need to learn this, this, and this technology. But if you wanted to be a game developer, you'd have to learn a different set of technologies. And there's no point in learning a programming language or technology that isn't required for the field of tech or career path that you want to go into. For example, there would be no point in learning Flutter, a mobile app development technology, if your goal was to start a career in web development. And that's why it's so important that any beginner who wants to get into tech, take the time to research all of the different fields and career paths that are available before you dive into any learning. Figure out what each of them involve and which one interests you and ultimately come to the decision onto which field of tech that you want to get into. And once you've decided what field you want to go into, you can take the time to research the different technologies that are required in that field and then once you know that that's when you can actually dive into learning now there's so many different fields of tech that you can go into but the field of tech i would recommend to any beginner or career changer who wants to break into tech is front end development it's the field of tech i personally learned in order to land my first job in the industry and i honestly believe if i had learned any other field besides front end development i wouldn't be here making this video today and that's because front end development is way easier to get into than most other fields out there. It's not crazy hard to learn so you won't get super demotivated or overwhelmed when you're learning and the demand for good front-end developers is extremely high in the market right now. It's the field of tech that I teach to all of my students to get them six-figure job offers. For example, my student Roberto who was trying to teach himself other fields of tech for years whereas when he started learning front-end development he landed his first six-figure job offer in just six months of learning. So if your goal is just to get out of your current career as quickly as possible and start a tech job as quickly as possible then i highly recommend you start by learning front end development otherwise if that doesn't interest you take the time to research all of the other different fields in tech and figure out one that does now before we dive into the second reason why most self-taught developers fail which is arguably more crucial than the first reason if you want my personal help to land a 60 to 100k coding job in the next three to six months guaranteed i have a few spots left in asap front end my job guarantee guarantee bootcamp with one-on-one -on -one coaching the link will be in the description to book a call check it out and see if you're a good fit but now straight back to the video now the second reason why most self-taught developers fail is that they don't have a proper learning strategy so let's say now you've picked your field of tech that you want to go into and let's say you've also done the research to figure out all of the technologies that you have to learn to get into that field at this point what most people would do is jump straight into a six hour youtube tutorial on the first technology that they have to learn. This is what I personally did and it cost me so much time. I mean, have you ever watched a coding tutorial and understood everything perfectly, but when it's time to close the video and open up the code editor, that's where the issues start and you have absolutely no clue where to start. This is something that I personally struggled with a ton and the reason why it was happening and I didn't realize this at the time is I didn't have a proper learning framework. I didn't have a proper learning strategy in place to help me process all of the information that I was learning. And this led to me getting stuck in the notorious tutorial hell. So now the question is, how do we fix this? And this is honestly a pretty sensitive topic in the programming community and people usually fall into one of two extreme camps about this. On one hand, we have people putting out 15 hour JavaScript tutorials and saying that's all you're ever going to need to become an absolute JavaScript pro 
And on the other hand, we have people telling you to never watch a tutorial in your life and to build projects from scratch. I don't agree with either approach. Through my own trial and error, I've come up with a learning strategy that I think is the perfect mix of theory and hands-on practice. And I call it the 3X framework. So how the 3X framework works is for every single programming language or technology that you have to learn, you're going to follow these three steps. You will start by watching a crash course on the technology. You will then complete three guided tutorial projects using the technology. And then you will finish by building a solo project with the technology. Now to make this easier to understand, let's take an example. Let's say you wanted to learn JavaScript. So the first thing we would do is go to YouTube and search for a JavaScript crash course and watch any video of our choice. The point of the crash course is just to give you a broad understanding of everything you need to know about about a certain technology. And during the crash course, it's really important that you make sure that you're taking notes, coding along with the instructor and rewinding the video when you get stuck. Following these tips during the crash course is gonna make sure that you really process and internalize the information that you're learning. Now, once we finish the JavaScript crash course, the next step would be to complete three JavaScript tutorial projects. So again, we'd go to YouTube and search for JavaScript guided tutorial projects and code along with any three videos of our choice. You see, most people at this stage would recommend that after the crash course, you should jump straight into building a project on your own. But after a single crash course, tutorial or video, you're not going to be ready for that, which is why every single time you try to do it, you fail miserably. Instead, what you need to do is start by coding along with guided project tutorials to learn how the theory in the crash course actually applies in the real world. And you kind of want to use these tutorials as training wheels. So in the first guided project, you're going to code along very closely with the video. But as your skills improve and you get into that second or or third tutorial project, that's when you really wanna start trying to build ahead of the tutorial that you're watching and develop that ability to write code independently. Now, once you've finished all three tutorial projects, it's now time for the final stage of the 3X framework, which is to complete a solo project. So a solo project is a project that you build on your own. And this is gonna let you know whether you actually understand everything that you've learned or you don't. And you can get your project idea from ChatGPT by using the following prompt. Please give me a solo project idea that captures everything I'd use this for in a real job. And if you can complete the project that ChatGPT suggests, congrats. You now know you have a solid understanding of whatever technology it is that you are learning. Now, the third reason why most self-taught developers fail is applying to jobs is their only application strategy. And here's what I mean by this. You see, when people learn all of the technical skills, build projects, and then create their portfolio and their resume, the first thing that they do is go to LinkedIn and Indeed and start spamming those easy and quick applies. This is the big mistake that I made when I was trying to land my first coding job. And I see it in so many other beginners too. Guys, what you need to realize is since these easy and quick applies are quick and easy, absolutely everyone else is doing them too. And that's why you see these LinkedIn job postings with like 500 applicants in the first 24 hours. And from the company's perspective, with so many different applications to go through, it's extremely difficult to go through each and every single one of them individually and give everyone the time of day. So a lot of the times your resume and your application material is not even being seen. The company just simply didn't have the bandwidth. So that means that you're getting rejected from jobs that you could be fully qualified for because you're getting lost in the crowd. The company simply just didn't have the bandwidth. So this means that you're getting rejected from jobs that you are 100% qualified for just because you're getting lost in the crowd. And that's why it's so important, especially in today's job market, to make sure that cold applying to jobs online isn't your own application strategy. You need to be using different application strategies to get your resume and application material in front of the right people. And there's many different ways to do this. The first way you could do this is find job postings on job websites like LinkedIn or indeed like you normally would. But instead of hitting easy apply or quick apply, email the company your application directly. Or you could connect with recruiters, hiring managers and software engineers at the company on LinkedIn and try and apply to the job that way. But honestly, my personal favorite method for applying to jobs is actually applying to to jobs in person. So this is something that I bet you haven't heard of before. Print out your resume, go to Google Maps and search for local software companies near me and go into each and every single one of these local companies and hand them your resume in person. Now, the reason I love this application strategy so much is it turns you from a number on a screen into an actual living, breathing human being. If you just go into the office and you're a cool person to be around, you have good social skills, you'll be surprised how many companies are willing to take a chance 
on you. They'll bring you in for interviews and they'll actually even make those interviews easier. Why? Because they just like you as a person and they want to see you succeed. This is exactly how so many of my students have gotten hired using this in-person job application strategy because it's so untapped and pretty much no one else is doing it. For example, one of my students, Martej, landed a interview at a funded startup just one month into learning to code using this method. One of my other students, Timothy, landed his first software engineering internship that came with free food, a free gym membership, free basketball courts using this in-person job application strategy. And with that, those are the three main reasons why most self-taught developers fail. If you want to learn more about how to learn to code and break into tech, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I highly recommend you watch the video that's about to pop up on the screen now if you want a full guide on everything you need to land your first coding job. And also, if you're interested in getting one-on-one -on -one help to land your first coding job in the next three to six months guaranteed, then apply to join the coding bootcamp with the first link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.